What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Highly Combustible Reaction. We're going to be jumping into something. Not exactly sure what it is because I'm not a sports guy and I see FIFA. But let's see. Let's jump in. It says Lisa Clavinez, full speech at FIFA Congress. It's coming at us thanks to Oslo71. Let's jump in. Let's check it out together. If you guys enjoy it, go show the original poster. Richest influencer, calm, some love. I'll check to see if Lisa has a youtube too if so then you can go follow her as well uh let's jump in let's see what it's all about no idea their president their congress ladies and gentlemen all football friends as a young girl i took my football everywhere also to bed every night the ball smelled so bad that even my cat leapt from the pillow an orange colored football for playing on snowy gravel fields poor cat a 13-year-old dreaming about mastering the ball, escaping the fear of not fitting in. Eventually, I got to represent my country doing what I love the most. Also, on the greatest stage of all dreams, the FIFA World Cup. Later, working as a lawyer and a judge, football was often the only thing I could talk to a client or an accused about. Wow. That's a huge, just like, that's a huge undertaking in life in general. Professional football player, lawyer, judge. When facing grave criminal charges. In desperate times, football can be the only common language. Our game can inspire dreams and break down barriers. But as leaders, we must do it right to the highest standards. Last year, Norway debated boycott of the World Cup in 2022. Instead, our members voted at Congress for dialogue and pressure through FIFA as the best way to work for changes. And our members do demand change. They question, they question the ethics in sport and insist on transparency. They are getting organized and ready to make their voices heard. And we must listen. We cannot ignore the calls for change and how FIFA run the game has so much to say for how football is perceived in every confederation and in every association. FIFA must act as a role model. I'm here now as Norway's first female football president. Humble to speak in front of you. I no longer take the ball with me everywhere, <laughs> but my dreams are still about football. Football where boys and girls, all colors, straights and queers, everyone is treated with equal respect and recognition. In 2010, World Cups were awarded by FIFA in unacceptable ways with unacceptable consequences. Human rights, equality, democracy, the core interests of football were not in the starting 11 until many years later. These basic rights were pressured on to the field as substitutes, mainly by outside voices. FIFA has addressed these issues, but there is still a long way to go. The migrant workers injured or families of those who died in the build-up to the World Cup must be cared for. FIFA, all of us, must take all necessary measures to really implement change. FIFA has recognized its responsibilities under the UN Guiding Principles for Human Rights and now includes human rights criteria for future World Cup hosts. It is vital that the current leadership continue wholeheartedly in this way, truly moving from policy to impact. There is no room for employers who do not secure the freedom and safety of World Cup workers. No room for leaders that cannot host the women's game. No room for hosts that cannot legally guarantee the safety and respect of LGBTQ plus people coming to this theater of dreams. I pledge that the Norwegian FA and I personally will support every initiative that safeguards the core interest of football, human rights and promotes diversity and anti-discrimination. This is also supported by our friends in the other Nordic football associations. 
We have a brutal war in Europe now. As in all wars on all continents, innocent people are being killed in meaningless fights for power. A previous work of host has invaded another country, another member. Initially, FIFA hesitated. International pressure forced re-election. FIFA must lead. I fear our stadiums will be empty in the future if we overlook the urgency of the current moment. And the time to act is now. FIFA, all of us, must do what we are tasked to do, to lead, to have sustainable values govern every decision, truly implement transparency, zero to tolerance towards corruption, accelerate the growth of the women's game. FIFA must set the tone and lead. Their president, their congress, I'm new here, and the girl with the orange ball has come far from home. I often get asked, how is it to work in a man's world? And I always answer, I don't. I do not work in a man's world. Football belongs to all girls and all boys in the world. So I truly share your belief that ours is indeed the beautiful and global game. So let us stand together and live up to the promise and dreams we give to everyone who takes that first kick of the ball. Thank you for the time and thank you for the attention, Mr. President. Hey, I mean, every single thing that she said is true. It's things that should be held to a certain standard, especially if you're a global entity. That means that anybody participating under your banner, you should have some say so to say whether or not they participate if they don't abide by certain principles if they don't show themselves in a certain way if they don't adhere to basic human rights that's just something that should be we should be holding people accountable for on all levels of life like not just sports every single kind of global entity should be true it should be held accountable should have somebody speaking out about how they should be more responsible like this this is a very very beautiful speech definitely more powerful than i thought it was going to be i figured we were just going to be listening to something about soccer this is way way different this is something else entirely everyone when it comes to sports even though it's not my thing it's a lot of people's outlet to get rid of excess energy rage to help with depression anxiety a lot of people find comfort and solace in these things in sports in art in music in the television in whatever and that i can that i can totally totally believe in so long as the people that are running it aren't steering the masses in the wrong way if you guys enjoyed it get over and show the original poster richest influencer com some love smash the like button if you liked it the dislike button but i won't believe you check out the other video up there one of these guys up here till the next one how the combustible you guys be happy have the same love you to the moon and back peace